Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Today we are going to take a look at Taurus's monthly love tarot reading for the month of March. Okay. In this reading, we are going to tap into the energies with the Island Time Oracle deck. And then we are going to take a look into your past, present, and future, your love interest or partner's past, present, and future, what the challenges are, the outcome, get some clarification on that, okay? Please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They are not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other placements in your birth chart. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title that resonates, then there's most likely something in the message. Also, energy and time are fluid, so you may find it resonates now. Some may find it resonates later, but you will know if the message is meant for you because you will feel it. Okay, it's going to hit you. So guys, also, if you want any information on how to book a personal reading, the cleanse kits that I offer, or how to get entered into the drawing here, you are more than welcome to check the description box. And if you would like to receive future messages, you are more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone is always welcome here. So let's jump right in, Taurus. Start with a little blessing first. Bless the space. Please, Spirit, we thank you for the most positive and guiding message for our subscribers. Please allow clear and positive guidance through whatever our friends need to hear. Please protect me, the viewer, and the cards from any negative energies. Thank you again, Spirit, and blessed be. Taurus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus, Spirit, what is the energy surrounding Taurus? Please and thank you. Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Self-indulgence faces on focuses on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Photograph is looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. And then we have dragonfly, which is be lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light. I feel like Things were going good and then you walked away from a situation or are going to walk away from a situation. You may find out some information that is a little shocking, okay? And you decide to walk away because of your self-worth, self-love, self-healing. That is very interesting. There... I do feel like you may be a little heartbroken, a little sad by having to walk away, but I feel like you're going to do what's best for you, Taurus, ultimately in the end. So let's take a look. Let's use the Spellcaster Tarot for you, Taurus, for the month of March. What does Taurus need to see here, Spirit, for the month of March regarding love? What does Taurus need to see for the month of March regarding love? One more shuffle, please. And thank you. All right, Taurus, so let's take a look into your overall energy, past, present, and future. First, most important message here for Taurus. What is Taurus past? Mm. Okay, so there was a painful ending here. I do get the sense that this happened very abruptly and unexpectedly. I feel like you may have felt betrayed by the situation. The 
energy that's coming out here. I feel like right now, currently, you're focused on yourself, Taurus. Focused on your goals, your dreams. Hard work and dedication pay off, and you understand that. Two sevens. Seven, seven. Okay, so perseverance. Okay, hard work, dedication. But I feel like presently, this person may be trying to come back into your life, but... There's some deception, some betrayal. So just be cautious, be aware of that, okay? They, there may be um, other options that they're involved in, other people that they're entertaining. And this very well could cause some pain here, some more betrayal, okay? Um, so just be cautious. I feel like this is more of a cautionary tale, Taurus. For most of you some of you may have already gone through this but i feel like for the most part taurus you're being cautious i feel like they may have planned this okay they may have planned this all along sometimes especially if you're dealing with a scorpio they're very um vindictive sign there are certain signs Scorpio is one of them. There's other signs that if you um, if you make them mad, then they'll try to, they'll do whatever they can to get back at the situation. I feel like that's what's going on here. Mm -hmm. I feel like they feel tied to the situation. And I feel like this has gotten very toxic here, Taurus. This relationship may have already gotten toxic where um, it's one up tit for tat type of energy. They may be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. Ultimately, I feel like they may be a little bit emotionally unavailable. And I also feel like they are feeling at a crossroads here in this situation. They may be at a position of... They don't want, they don't want to deal with any toxic behaviors here, Taurus, is what I get. Let's take a look at the challenges here. What are the challenges for Taurus in this situation, Spirit? What are the challenges that Taurus faces here in this situation? Ship. Okay. So I feel like you may want something more traditional, like a family situation. And I feel like this person is confused, a little bit conflicted about what they truly want in this situation. I do feel like there is a need here for communication, for clarity within yourself. What is the outcome here for Taurus? There's a need here to clearly communicate what you want the outcome to be try to get on the same page here okay feel like there may be you Taurus or this other person one of you may take a step back to kind of decide if this is what you truly want okay because I feel like this offer is just too small I feel like they want to take things slowly they want to take things um, very cautious because of the past, whatever you guys have gone through. Past ending, betrayal. You're going to know your situation, how it's resonating. Honestly, readers on YouTube are picking up lots of energies. Even I, there's 4,000 of you guys here on the channel now. 4,000 subscribers. So, um, just having that many people, you know, it can be a little bit difficult here. Okay. So what I see here, Taurus is looking before you leap. This is a very strong connection, but both of you have to be ready for this union before it's going to come together. And if both of you aren't ready, it's not going to happen. Let's 
Let's get a little bit of clarification. I feel like right now what's what is what the energies, what the cards are saying here. You're I don't feel like either of you are very ready. One of you walked away from the other in the past. This caused some conflict between you guys. Okay. It's caused all of this turbulence. Now, whether this was you that walked away, which I feel like this was you, Taurus, that walked away from the situation. I feel like you need healing. Okay. Um, your person is kind of withholding their energy. Even though they feel tied to the situation, I feel like they feel like this is a very burdening connection here. Okay. And they may have very well had ill intentions when they brought this back together. Okay. Mm hmm. I do feel here that ultimately there's some mirroring going on here, first of all, okay? I also feel like you both feel burdened, stressed on this connection, okay? There's a lot of, um, there's kind of an imbalance here, not, not being balanced, okay? And I feel like ultimately in order to completely heal from this heartache, you guys are going to have to go your separate ways to recalibrate the connection. I do feel like this person does miss you when you guys are apart. I feel like you probably miss this person as well. But... There needs to be an understanding here. It's like you guys are taking your relationship to the next level. And there needs to be some alone time for each of you to heal from what you guys have gone through in this relationship in the past. Okay. So I am going to do an extended reading on this Taurus. Um, we're going to extend this reading, take a little bit deeper look into your person's intentions. You know what, what they're intending here, what's in their head. What are they thinking? We'll take a little bit uh, deeper look into the advice moving forward, Get some guidance going. Um, we'll also get the soul truth deck out. If that's something you guys are interested in, the link will be below in the description box. Also guys, I do offer a monthly subscription rate over there on Vimeo. It's $14 and you get access to all of the videos I've uploaded so far. All of the extendeds. You are more than welcome to check that out if you are wanting to. If you've looked at more than three of the videos, it does make more sense to subscribe monthly. So let's see here. Taurus. The Power Thought card coming out for you guys is... I accept my uniqueness. There is no competition and no comparison. For we are all different and meant to be that way. I am special and wonderful. I love myself. Beautiful, beautiful Taurus. So that is the message I have coming out for you guys for this month. Again, if you want to get in on the extended reading, the links are all below in the description box. If this is where we leave each other, Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing all the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.